big ballet, a 20 minute, 20 minute 30 ballet, minutes. 30 minute ballet. Um, Five sections. That Gwen did every section of. And I remember uh, she, uh, she would do a section with the women, then with the men, then with the women, then everybody, then with one person. We would come off almost ready to vomit from being so tired. And Gwen did every one of them. And I remember on opening night, she said, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> and and she, she had an entrance in that ballet that was the best thing I've ever seen. She was in the wings on top of a table. And she jumped off the table and jumped onto a trampoline and dove out on the stage. So she came out absolutely <laughs> horizontal. <laughs> And that was the, you know, oh, the and yeah. Alton and Kevin and uh, you and a couple other, and Bobby said, don't miss, you catch her, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they would catch her, and then they would go to this whole tambourine dance together. It was a Talk riot. Talk a little about the, the set coming down. On the uh, Are we talking too much here? We're, okay. Uh, uh, well, we were in Philadelphia, I guess. Yes, it was, it was really. Philly. And we had a, this big jail scene. Uh, this seems to be a prevalent theme of Bobby's, that women are in jail. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this jail set was the entire proscenium. It went all the way across and all the way up, bars, heavy bars. And this would come in as the cops were pushing us into the jail, you know, and then it would come in. And there was a stagehand on either side to lock it in place so it didn't just crash on the floor. And they were always telling us, don't grab those bars before it settles, you know. And one, the stagehand missed his cue. And Gwen thought it was up, and she grabbed the bars, and the whole set fell on her feet. Oh. oh. And she oh. fell on the floor and was just holding her toes. And we all kind of gathered around her, you know, and I'm saying to the stage manager, pull the curtain, pull the curtain. And he's going, huh, huh? <laughs> I pull the curtain. And all of a sudden I see Bobby coming, running down the middle aisle of the audience, jumped over the pit. Honest to God. Reached in, undid, undid the, the locked door to the jail picked Gwen up in his arms and said, pull the goddamn curtain! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we were all in shock. I mean, everybody thought, oh my God. Uh, here we thought we had this great, huge, wonderful show. Bob, Fossey, Gwen, Verdon, we thought, well, this is the end, you know. We waited like, they said, is there a doctor in the house? Please come backstage, you know. We were all just shaking. So they, Finally, about three doctors came back and looked at her feet and everything, and they decided nothing was broken. So she had long costume on, you know, because it was a period piece. And she put little slippers on, and they skipped the pickpocket tangle and went on to the next scene. And Richard Kiley comes out. It's a murder mystery. And he's, the next line is he says to Gwen, okay, uh, when you see the killer, stamp your foot three times like, <laughs> like this. And he goes, one, two, three, you know, and the whole audience goes, oh. <laughs> so she lifts up her skirt and she goes, like this, one, two. <laughs> and the whole audience stood up and applauded for about 10 minutes. They had been waiting there for like an hour for the show to continue, you know. Wow. And uh, then she was out, and we were closed for a couple of days while she healed up, you know. But uh, she was an amazing. And this thing, he, he did this in, like, every show I did with him. And he would say, I want so much strength in the fingers. I want to see light coming out of every finger. Mm -hmm. And then when he did the movie of Cabaret, and Liza is singing Cabaret, and she went like that, and he had a lighting effect. That light was streaming out of every finger, and I went, "Oh, he finally got it!" You know? <laughs> In the beginning, 